Excellencies, ministers, dear friends, I would like to thank you all for the opportunity to contribute at this critical point in the discussions on the post-2020 global biodiversity framework. The UNCCD Secretariat hopes that the Kunming COP will be a watershed moment. There is no better time than now. We are the last generation to reorient the tanker to the right direction. Biodiversity underpins human health and economic growth. It sustains all life on earth, all life below and above ground, all life underwater is essential to ensuring the future we want for nature, for the planet and for ourselves, for our children. One after the other, history books taught us how much past civilizations have been marked by relationships with nature, for the better or for the worse. Our bulimia for minerals, forest products, irrigation water, and agricultural land has led us to wars and even to the ignominious slave trade. In our quest of producing and consuming more, we have run head on to suddenly realize we are reaching a cliff. It is time to lift our heads. It is time to watch our steps. As we progressively emerge from the hibernation that the COVID-19 pandemic has imposed on us, let us rethink our relationships with nature. With all its hardship, the pandemic provides us with perhaps our last opportunity to build forward better, creating green jobs, building more nature-friendly infrastructure building the resilience of our communities to cope with climate change, land degradation, and biodiversity loss, producing and consuming more rationally. Restoring planetary balance is an imperative, not a luxury. As I close my brief remarks, I want to leave you with three actions for your consideration. First, policy action. We have a fantastic opportunity to adopt in Kunming a bold post-2020 strategy and action plan. As policymakers, as politicians, and simply as sensible human beings, we know that our people expect strong decisions. They will not pardon us if we keep looking away while their house is on fire. Second, restoration action. The world has never been as ready as now to tackle ecosystem restoration all hands on deck. Land restoration, for example, is economically viable, ecologically sensible, and socially acceptable. Land restoration is the simplest and the cheapest solution to climate change. It restores biodiversity, while at the same time, it combats poverty. Dedicated to ecosystem restoration by the United Nations, this decade of action of the SDGs is therefore first and foremost a decade of truth, a decade of trans transition where we should make peace with nature. Third, let me state the obvious. Nature is part of the solution, including for the post-COVID economic recovery. Recognizing the ongoing critically important public investment to stabilize the economy, we believe that the world needs to embrace a new paradigm. Again, as politicians, as investors, as business community, or as local authority, let us hear these voices roaming from afar. Voices that are overwhelmingly getting closer to us. Voices of our children. Voices of our consumers. Voices of voters. Voices of we, the peoples. Saying in unison, we want a better future. Please listen to us. Thank you.